What is going on everybody, Terrell here, and today we're going to be searching for gecko eggs. Uh, specifically, cave gecko eggs, we have two species here that we have as breeders. Um, the females have been doing a, a few pre-lay digs, so we're going to check both the boxes for eggs. The species here is the Japanese cave geckos that we have. Uh, this is G Splendens. As you can see here, it's male. It looks like he's in shed. Let's see if I can zoom in on that. I haven't seen them actually mating, but the females have been a little more active than usual. Let's see here. She looks to be building, but we'll check the egg, egg box anyways and see if we got any eggs from her. As you can see, they are extremely fast. So what we'll do is check the egg box and see what we got. So you can see I have all the eggs in uh, smaller tubs within the tub. Uh, inside is just Eagle Earth with some dysphagnum moss. And then I have them labeled on the outside. And then when checking for gecko eggs, especially with these kind, they bury the eggs in here. And it's usually in groups of two. Um, so what I like to do is go through and feel around the edges and see if there's any eggs along the lining of the tub. And with clear tubs, you can actually look at the bottom and see if she's deposited in any eggs. So we didn't find any eggs in this one, so we'll close this one up and then check on the second pair. Okay, so next up we have <coughs> our Chinese cave it goes the Hyenensis. Um, we got a clutch from the female earlier in the year, and we have about 30 days left before those eggs hatch. But as you can see along the edges in this tub, she's been digging far more than the other female has. Which is a good indicator that she's going to lay. Uh, I've been watching her for the past week and a half or so, looking for her to lay, checking daily. Um, so let's see this morning if we actually get some eggs from her. Let's see where they are at first. See, they're both under there, female on the left, male on the right. Uh, these are both wild caught animals, and the other ones that I showed, the Splendens, are captive bred. So she's still looking good, very active. We'll get in there and feed her later today. So, like with the other egg box, uh, we'll do the same thing. Uh, same kind of sterilite tub. I put it in just a hole in the top. Uh, fairly not dry, but it's damp in here. Whereas on the outside, I usually spray it down. Um, so we're gonna do the same thing, digging along the edges, see if we find anything. But I can see already from this side, and it's hard to see in this video, but along these edges here, um, you can see that she started pushing everything back. All the mosses moved back, and there's some little test spots in here as well. So it's a pretty good indication that she's been in here uh, in the last, let's see, I checked last two days ago. So within the last two days, there's probably going to be some eggs in here. So we'll do the same thing, poking around very gently along the edges. And you're just feeling for the tops of the eggs. Um, you don't want to push too hard, end up damaging one of them. You just go lightly along the edges. And then on this side, most of the dirt's been pushed over that way. It's very light on these sides, so it's a good possibility that they're laying on this end. So we'll go around, check the edges. And with clear tubs, um, 
that they're laid along the walls. Usually if you lifted this up, you could probably see them along the sides. Uh, but that doesn't mean that she laid them there. They could have been laid elsewhere in the center somewhere. So we have nothing along the edges. We'll start on this end and start moving them back. Same thing, just kind of poking around. But it's very light on this side. So it's pretty, pretty safe to say that she laid them somewhere in this area here. Let's see what do we got here. Oh, it's just dirt. Move this back. Yep. And there's one and two. Let's move this out of the way. two eggs, which is typical for most uh, eyelash geckos to lay two eggs every single time. Um, the last time she laid was about 40 days ago. Um, so she's had enough time to, you know, eat, build up again to lay some more eggs. And these look pretty good. And with these particular geckos, um, the male isn't really defensive of the spot, but he'll cruise around uh, and make sure no one's near it, I found. This is the male here. And then you have your female here. And these geckos are not like leopard geckos, they're a little more flighty. Um, but these, especially for being wild cocks, um, they're not aggressive. I haven't had either of them to drop the tails, though so you can see that the tails aren't even dropped on both of them. Um, it could have been from capture or something in the wild, and it has grown back, but that's not what they typically look like. <clears throat> so next what I'll do is I'll remove the eggs, and with these geckos, you can, from what I've read, uh, the eggs can be rolled for the first 14 days, but after that, you want to keep them as stationary as possible. But I like to keep them how I found them, so I'll remove them and then put them in a <clears throat> another box with vermiculite um, just to keep them safe, incubate them there. Uh, I've never tried actually incubating the eggs within the lay box. Maybe I'll try that with the next clutch that she uh, produces. But for now, I'll just what I do is a little cup uh, with vermiculite in it and just place the eggs in there and then these are kept at room temperature and then within 75 to 80 days um, the eggs will hatch all right so here we have the eggs here in the box um, the cup I'm gonna put them in and then just a lid it's just a plastic uh, I don't even know who makes this. Doesn't matter. Plastic cup with a rubber lid. And I put four holes in it um, just for a little air ventilation. I do like to open it up periodically, uh, usually once a week, let the eggs breathe. Um, so what we'll do is we'll, I already have vermiculite made for this tub. Um, but what I'll do is uh, get it damp again. And you don't want it sopping wet. You want to squeeze out all the moisture and just leave it like that as is. Um, and they should be good the entire term until the eggs hatch. Alright, so vermiculite is set. It's wrung out. I'm just going to apply it to the cup. Re 
it out some more. And then add it. You don't want to add it all the way to the top, obviously, because you're going to put the eggs in there. And you want a little bit of air transfer over the top of the eggs. So just something like that. Set up. It's not too deep. It's about halfway. And then what I do is just make a finger indent where I'm going to place each egg like that. Go ahead and take the eggs, as you can see how they are in there. They're laying nice and flat. So I'm just going to transfer them just like that from there to the vermiculite. Put the lint on, mark the date, uh, what species it was, if you're dealing with multiple species. And then that's pretty much it. And then in 80 days or so, they'll hatch. And I just like to pick them straight up like they are. And then grab your cup. Place it in there, and then just press some of the vermiculite around the egg. You don't have to cover it completely, but just like that. And I'll do the same thing with the second egg, and then place it in there, just like that. And work the vermiculite around it. Lay it on. Sealed the egg box. I just mix it up like so. Place everything back to how it was. And then just give it a light spray. Like that. Lid on and it goes back in the tub. And then we wait for the next set. And then with these, what I like to do is, right, species, uh, date collected, which was 21st. Oops, five, 21, 17, and the time, 9, 15, and that's it, pretty simple, straightforward, and about uh, 40 days ago, 40 days or so, we'll check again, see how she's doing, and see if she's getting ready to lay more eggs. Yep, and that's it. And I have a care sheet that I wrote for how we keep all of our cave geckos. Uh, you can find it in Digitalian Magazine from last month, or it'll be on our site. Um, I just gotta up to update the site with now a cave gecko section, and then you can find that information there. Thanks for watching.